What's going on everybody? This is Ultima Device Vids, and in this video we're going to check out 10 brand new jailbreak tweaks compatible with iOS 10 for July 2017. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So first up we have Switcher Controls. This tweak is available for $1.50 and it combines the App Switcher and the Control Center into one single view just like this. So you have the App Switcher in the middle and we have the controls on the top and bottom. Now this is definitely inspired from tweaks like OXO2 and above and also Sang and you know other tweaks like that. However, I believe this is the only tweak that does this that's compatible with iOS 10. So it's nice to see somebody bring this functionality to iOS 10. And of course, we have all the controls on the bottom. As you can see, it is, of course, optimized for iOS 10. We get all the modern looking controls. We could actually drag up to get the brightness slider, you know, things like night shift also, everything like that. Slide over to get the music controls, just like this. We could pull this drawer down. And of course, we have all these shortcuts at the top. You could, you know, interact with them the same way you always do by 3D touching, etc., tapping on them. And again, it's just, you know, it works very well. It's nice to see this concept brought to iOS 10. And there is one option in these settings for this tweak that I do want to show you guys if we just head over to the switcher controls settings under the uh, advanced options. We have replace swipe up. Now, and this is disabled like it is now. When you go ahead and slide up for the control center, you'll just get the normal control center. But if you double press the home button, you'll get the merge view. Personally, I think that's a little bit confusing. So I do recommend you enable replace swipe up. And then when you go ahead and slide up, you'll get this same interface. And when you double press, so that just makes things a little bit more consistent. But once again, the tweak is called a switcher controls. It's $1.50. Next, we have Sinatra. This one's available for $1.99, and it gives you a much larger control center now playing page. As you can see right here, you know, it basically takes up the entire screen. We also have the track scrubbing here as well. And again, everything is just larger, and, you know, I think it makes more sense. Why have this cramped view down here when it already is occupying basically everything you're doing? May as well just make it larger. So once again, it's called Sinatra, $1.99. And on the topic of music, we have Classic Player. This tweak is available for 99 cents, and it's actually a simulator for the iPod Classic on iOS. And it's actually a functional, again, simulator that will actually allow you to interact with your music through the iPod Classic-like interface. So open it up, you have this click wheel that's, you know, that you could tap and functionally you could actually use it. And again, it has this interface that mimics the iPod Classic. So we can actually go into our music and it actually does sync with your music library, which is crazy. We could just, you know, go into anything. We'll go into all music. And once again, this will sync with your music application. Now, unfortunately, it's not going to sync with Spotify or applications like that. So, you know, that is a potential downside. But um, anyways, let's just go ahead and play something here. I'm just going to click on something. And then again, you'll be brought to this interface that now playing and it will begin playing. So uh, I actually never owned an iPod Classic, but it's definitely just nice to see this functioning. It's very neat. So uh, once again, it's called Classic Player. It's available for 99 cents. Oh, and one more thing about Classic Player. I just wanted to show you the settings page that is built into this interface here. So there's actually a dark mode that you could turn off for a later view like this. There's also sound effects you can enable and just an about page about the tweak. Next up, we have Control Center 11, and 11 is in Roman numeral, so XI. But this tweak will bring the iOS 11 style Control Center to iOS 10, and it does a very good job of mimicking the look and functionality of the iOS 11 Control Center. Everything looks and pretty much functions the same way. You could 3D touch on different things like the control page to get to this expanded view where everything works the exact same, same options, looks great. Same thing with the music controls, you could 3D touch, get all this additional information, etc. Even these sliders you see here work the exact same way you slide up. You could get the expanded view by 3D touching there. Same deal. And also for the brightness, the night shift is tucked away in here as well, just like it is in the real thing. Also the Noctis tweak if you have that installed. And by the way, for 3D touching, if you have a non-3D touch device, you, you'll just be able to tap and hold as well. And of course, the design just, you know, does, again, a great job of mimicking iOS 11. And also just a cool thing is that if you guys have Flip Control Center installed and you 3D touch on the shortcuts option, you'll still have the Flip Control Center, you know, options on here. You could just slide like this across them normally. So uh, that's still preserved if you have Flip Control Center installed. If you don't have that installed, it'll just, you know, not show this bottom part down there. But once again, this tweak is called a Control Center 11 with Roman numerals, and it's available for $1.50. Next up, we have Ventana. This one's available for $1.99, and it provides your lock screen with a Windows 10 inspired look. So as you can see right here, things look completely different. You know, towards the bottom here, we have some indicators. We have battery, cellular, Wi-Fi, and the date and time, which all look very similar to the way that Windows looks. If you've used Windows, you definitely know what I'm talking about. And also, you notice the notifications are redesigned as well, uh, definitely reminiscent of Windows. Now, if you guys do prefer the 
iOS 10 notifications, just the standard ones. You could change that. There's an option in the settings to do that. And also we have the options basically right here, you know, ready to go. We, we no longer have to like swipe or 3D touch on them. It just displays them right here. Of course, we have the, you know, redesigned media player up there, which is definitely nice. And also something I really like about this tweak is that it will display down here the apps that you have notifications for. So if you have a ton of notifications on the lock screen or even just a few, it'll show you with app icons for the apps that you have notifications for. So you can easily identify, again, what you have notifications for just by looking down there. You can also slide up on this screen to unlock the device as well to get the passcode screen or just unlock it if you don't have a passcode, which is also pretty similar of Windows as well. And again, there's a ton of, you know, settings to configure in the settings for the tweak and just a ton of, you know, different features as well that this tweak offers. So definitely go, you know, check it out in detail on your own. But once again, this tweak is called Ventana, $1.99. NC Link 10 is available for $1.99 and it basically groups the notifications in your notification center and on your lock screen by app. So as you can see right here, I have some notifications for messages and FaceTime and it just separates them into these two different categories, messages, FaceTime. They're also collapsible. So if you go ahead and tap on the title, it'll go ahead and basically collapse them into this, you know, simplified view where it just tells you the number of notifications you have. You can, of course, tap it to re-expand it just like this. So you could basically make things look cleaner and more organized and then, you know, expand it when you want to. So uh, definitely a very good looking and useful tweak. And uh, this tweak by default only functions inside the notification center. But if you guys jump into the settings for the tweak into NC Link 10, you could go into lock screen and go ahead and enable it here as well. And then just go ahead and respring. There's also a bunch of other options in here as well that you can configure. But let me go ahead and show you on the lock screen too. All right, so here I am on the lock screen. I just gave myself some notifications. As you can see right there, it functions here as well if you do enable it. So this is definitely a very useful tweak. You know, it's frustrating just being overwhelmed with notifications and this tweak helps you organize it and just kind of distinguish what's going on in a clear fashion. So once again, it's called NC Link 10, $1.99. If you guys are sick of the standard power off screen in iOS, Stylo Power Down is definitely something you're going to want to check out. It allows you to obtain the power down screen from LG Stylo, the phone, and also allows you to get the old iOS 7.0.x slider, if you guys remember what I'm talking about, back on your device. So after you install the tweak, to set it up, you'll actually need to go to settings and then Stylo Power Down, and then you'll have the two options. You'll have the LG Power Down, which is the one I talked about, or the iOS 7.0 Power Down. First, let's check out the... Uh, LG power down and then we're going to slide down here and select respring. There's also a bunch of other customization options in here that you can configure to your liking as well. But let's just go ahead and respring. All right, so now I'll show you guys the LG, you know, power down view just like this as you can see. And if you guys, you know, know that phone, of course you recognize this. So we have power down, restart and airplay mode. If we tap on power down, you have the option to just power off, go into safe mode or you can just cancel. For restart, we have reboot or respring. So it's nice that we have these different, you know, sets of options or just cancel. And of course, you could just go into airplay mode if you want to do that as well. We'll just cancel. I also want to show you the power down from iOS 7.0.x. That's definitely nostalgic. Takes me back. But let's just go ahead and go in here, turn off the LG, and we'll turn on the 7.0 one, and we'll just respring now. And now, as you can see, we have that old style just like that. So, uh, as you see there, of course, with the power off, the older style. We'll just go ahead and cancel that. But once again, it's called uh, Stylo Power Down. Next, we have Favorite Emojis. This one's available for $0.99, cents and it allows you to set favorite emojis. So normally in iOS, if you open up the emoji keyboard, we have the frequently used section that will show up all, all the way on the left here. And it'll just, you know, populate that with the emojis that you use most frequently. However, this tweak allows you to set the, your own custom ones here that will always stay there no matter what. So uh, to set this up, you're going to want to go into the settings. You're going to go into favorite emojis. Of course, there's the enable switch in here. Then you have the list here. Basically, you just tap into this text field and place the emojis in there. Now, of course, there's, as you see, their custom favorite list 30 maximum. So you can make 30 favorites and then uh, just go ahead and type them in. So I have the thumbs up, the sign like this, the umbrella, the lightning and the heart eyes one. So once you typed in yours, you can just go ahead and hit save emoji list. After that, just go ahead and select uh, apply changes respring and then, you know, it'll take an effect. So let's just head over to messages. We'll jump into the emoji keyboard. So uh, now, of course, it's renamed to favorites and basically going downwards, you'll see the same emojis that we selected are there. The thumbs up, this sign, the umbrella, lightning and the heart eye thing. So uh, basically, uh, again, if you don't fill all of them, as obviously I did not, it'll just go ahead and resume with the normally frequently used for the remaining. But of course, you can fill all of them if you want. But again, you could just do a few like this and then it'll show up right there. You know, first thing. So once again, this tweet's called favorite emojis. It's available for 99 cents. 
Home card icon label is very simple and it does exactly what the name suggests. It places a label for the home card in the app switcher and puts a little home icon next to it so it fits in better with the other applications in the app switcher. Next up we have cam mode. This one's free and it's actually going to give you an indicator when you switch modes inside the camera application. So when you switch from mode to mode, you can see right there, it's going to give an indicator in the middle of the screen just telling you which mode you just switched to. It definitely looks like it belongs there. It's a nice touch. But yeah guys, that pretty much wraps it up for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed these tweaks. If you did, make sure to give this video a like and subscribe to this channel for more videos pertaining to jailbreak tweaks. Also make sure to follow the channel on Twitter and like it on Facebook. With that being said, thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.